Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to assemble all the parts of the plumber block. Open Inventor and then click on New. In Matrix and in Assembly, click Standard MM.IAM and then click on Create. And using the place option, place all the parts. First, I'm going to place the body. Right click and then click on place grounded at the origin. Now, I'm going to place all other parts together. Now I am going to assemble the parts. First I am going to place the bottom half bearing. I am going to apply the constraints and then click on apply. Now I am going to apply one more constraint. And then click on apply. Similarly, for the top half bearing, I am going to apply the constraint. First, I am going to hide the bottom half bearing so that this hole and this hole coincide each other so that I can see easily. Now I am going to make it visible. Now I am going to apply uh, that is assemble the that is add the cap. Now I am going to apply one more constraint. Now I am going to apply the shaft. You should make a bigger shaft. I have made the smaller shaft. I am going to edit the shaft. Right click on the shaft and then click on open. I am going to extrude it a little bit more. I am going to extrude it at a distance of 60 mm. And then click on OK. I am going to save this. Now automatically it will be updated. Now I will apply this constraint. Now I am going to apply the coincidence constraint. Now I am going to add the square bolt and nuts. Since I required another set or you can use it and another option is there uh, which you can mirror it can use the mirror option but only if the assembled things are symmetrical that is along the plane along any of the plane if it is symmetric only then we can use this first I will apply the apply the bolt I 
and I am going to apply it one more constraint. Now similarly, I'm going to apply constraints for the lock nut as well as the nut. Now I'm going to apply one more constraint so that this nut won't rotate or remain symmetrical. First I have to remove the relationships. I'm going to delete this. Now I'll apply the constraint. Similarly for not For the lock nut, I have not applied it. So now the final constraint. Now I am going to mirror the nut, lock nut, and the bolt. You can uh, you can add it again by uh, importing by placing the parts and then applying the constraint, or you can use the option mirror. It saves a lot of time, and this can be done only if it is symmetric. I have done it symmetrically, so I am using it mirror option. And now I've already selected the components and I'm going to choose the mirroring plane. You can just have the preview of the mirror, mirrored uh, components. And remember, you should enable mirror relationships and ground new components. If these are not there, the components will tend to move and the constraints will not be applied. And then click on new, next and then click on OK. You can see the components have been applied. Now I'm going to save this. Now we'll do the drafting part. Open file, new, and in the drawing, choose iso.dwg or idw. Anyone you can choose and then click on create. Now, since I've already opened the assembly, click on base. By default, the previously, the latest open assembly will be visible if it is not there 
that means you have not opened the assembly recently and to open an existing file just click on this icon and navigate to the folder or file where the assembly is located and here you can choose the ratio and I'm going to use the wireframe and I'm going to change this to top view and then click on OK now I'm going to add the section view I'm going to section only the right half and then click on continue remember here the method should be projected if the method is aligned you will not get the proper uh, section view so it should be the projected method and then click on ok now I will add one more isometric view Now I am going to add BOM that is the bill of materials. Go to annotate and then click on part list and select the view. I am going to select this view and then click on OK. Now here I don't need the description, I need the materials. So I am going to right click right click on the table and edit part list and then here go to the column chooser i don't need the description so i will remove it i will i need to add the material so i will add the material and then click on ok apply you can see that the material has been added now I'll add the balloon feature. You can, I'll choose the auto balloon and I'll select the view. Now I'll select the components and then I'll click on placement. I want the placement to be vertical or I'm going to choose it has around. or you can choose it as horizontal and then click on OK Thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel for more updates and comment for any suggestions